All right, here's the project. Having an electrical problem with this motorcycle. The problem is with the turn signal primarily. When I put my turn signal on, half it can see that, that I'm turning, but as I'm driving down the road, I have no indicator here on my dash area letting me know that I've, I've left the blinker on and it doesn't turn off automatically. So to fix that problem and something else, we're going to be replacing the handlebar control switch kit here. So I bought a new kit and my buddy Rich agreed to come and help out and, uh, and guide me through the process so I don't make any major mistakes. Never done this type of project before. So come on in Rich, say hi to everybody. All right, so what do we have to do basically here to, to fix the problem with the, with the turn bleakers? Well, we're gonna remove and replace these electronic units because we think some of these wires are pinched inside of here and clean up these cables. Nice. We are also going to add some extra directional lighting to the rear of this motorcycle. Perfect. Yeah, that's going to help a lot. Well, cool. All right, so that's the project. Let's get started. stopping and talking about the teardown and the next phase of the project which is the the installation of the uh, handlebar uh, switch control kits so we've, we've actually uh, already installed the switch control kit on the left side and the, and the wiring is installed and the wire comes too long intentionally so that you can use it for a variety of size handlebars so we have it cut down now to to the right size for our handlebars and because the wires are raw on the end and we need to plug it in to this plug, we need to uh, attach a, a plug end, which came with the control kit uh, uh, that, that we're using. Uh, so we just have to install this, this plug end onto the wires so that we can then plug it in up here. Once that gets plugged in, it has to get tucked in behind the cowling. Now some of the things that, that we're trying to be careful to do, some little pro tips if you will, as we were telling down, uh, as we were tearing things down, uh, Rich can tell you, one of the things I noticed that you had done, Rich, you were careful to take the speedometer, uh, and it's not going to install back in, but you did kind of temporarily reattach it here. Why did you do that? So that it wasn't hanging off the wire and harness, and we didn't have to unplug more electrical than we need to. And this makes it so it doesn't hit the tank, it's not hanging off its wire, and uh, just finger tight, just to uh, get that uh, safe. Okay, cool. And, and also, the other handlebar control kit uh, has a brake line on it, and it has a rubber hose, so it's being given us temporarily, kind of more gingerly set down, uh, so, so that we're careful that that doesn't, you know, get ruptured, right? Correct, and that way we don't have to uh, break into the, the brake line and, and bleed the brakes. So we're just trying to minimize the uh, put back together time. I like the way you're wearing your microphone, I just have to say. Why, oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, we're ready to, to finish the build out. We're gonna put everything back together now. And uh, that, that's going to be kind of boring to watch. So naysaber, do your magic, make it go fast.
right, that's the project. Quick special thanks to my good buddy and neighbor, Rich Garfield. If it wasn't for his support and expertise, this project would not have been possible. Thanks, Rich. You the man. All right, time now for us to enjoy the fruits of our labors. <laughs>